bar pull up is a great way to develop upper body strength. I like the bar pull up as a progression on the ring pull up. The ring pull up allows for a bit more natural rotation, the bar is fixed, so it is, is a bit more aggressive on the shoulder. Uh, the overhand grip is a little bit easier at the bottom of the pull up, harder at the top, whereas the underhand grip is a lot easier at the top, but a lot harder at the bottom because it's more of a stretch on the lat. So if you're a bit more flexible, underhand grip's probably a better way to go. Uh, if your shoulders are a bit tighter, you might find overhand grip is a bit better. Neutral grip is the best if you can start with that, if you're fortunate to have a neutral grip um, pull up station, then that works well. We're gonna start off with the bar here. I've got a band to help assist. So I pull that down, get my foot in, and then from there, I'm gonna reach up and get just kind of outside shoulder width. And I'm gonna pull up, use the band to assist me. Now here, where my toes get to, or my feet get to, that's where I want the band to stay if I wanna know how much assistance I'm getting. Because now the band's staying at the same tension rate. Push down into the band and come up. Traction out, push down into the band and come up. So that's using the band. Now, that's a great way to get going. So you can develop some volume to get stronger. Then you can go into eccentric pull-ups. So you have something that you can spot yourself off to get up and to get a little jump. This is not ideal because it's to the side. Spot up, control, down and I put my foot on, spot up, control. If you've got a lower bar, it works a lot better so you can get an even spot. Uh, then you want to progress to just doing those nice full pull-ups, full range of motion. Um, once you can get a nice controlled eccentric, usually for three reps, seven seconds, you're going to be able to get that first pull-up. So I like to do a combination of eccentric work with people when they're first starting out and higher volume, higher rep band pull-ups. Uh, I find mixing the two, so alternating each four week block or uh, if you're doing pull-ups twice a week, doing one day eccentrics, one day uh, higher volume, works a lot better than if you're just doing one or the other. Uh, and that way you're kind of doing one that's focused more intensity, one that's focusing on more volume to get more tissue tolerance. And that way you're gonna get a variety of different uh, tissues that you recruit.